while I was working for the bank, one of the girls said to me, what are you doing on Saturday? And I said, nothing, why? And she said, well, come with us. And um, we went down to this place in Liverpool called The Cavern. And I met all the Beatles, but they weren't the Beatles then. They were just the guys who played at the cavern. We got introduced to them and we enjoyed the evening. They kept getting up and playing their songs and singing for us. And of course, we didn't know the songs because we'd never heard them before. My name is Janice Cropsford and I am 74 years of age. I was born and raised in Oldham, Lancashire, England, and I came to Canada in 1976, and I've been here in Medicine Hat ever since. I have two brothers and three sisters, so six of us in all. We were born two girls, two boys, two girls. My father always said he was a mathematician, <laughs> and I think that proved it. I was born in 1944, so the war had already started. Nothing really made any sense to me because I was just a baby. My father, he told me that he was carrying me upstairs to my mum, and the bomb came down very close. and. <laughs> He almost threw me through the little window at the top of the stairs, but he sort of dropped me and caught me at the same time. So I don't think my mother would have been pleased if he had have thrown me through the window. I can remember when the war ended. I know it was a relief to the grown-ups, because you could see it in their face. It was the joyfulness in the streets people, you know, it's over, and just celebrating ladies getting hold of each other with their arms and just swinging around in, in a circle, and the silence at night, you didn't have to listen out for buzz bombs coming over the, the roof. My grandfather was in the First World War. I never did meet my grandfather Wilde. I believe he was quite the character. So that's when I first heard about Remembrance Sunday. It means a lot to me because of my grandfather. I had one daughter I was blessed with, <laughs> Leslie. I had to quite often phone my mum and ask for advice as to how do I do with this. It was a scary thing, but I got used to it. The art of conversation has gone. There's no such thing as getting on the telephone and talking to your friends. You just text them. I like to hear voices. The art of conversation. I really miss that. I don't mind growing old at all. I've never been ashamed of saying how old I am. I'm just me, I suppose and you accept me as I am. There's so much wonderful stuff and culture in this country. There's so much to learn from it. That's why I hope the art of conversation comes back so that we can get to know more about other people. Peace on earth, goodwill towards men. That is what I wish for, and that's for everybody. I don't care whether you live here or in Timbuktu or wherever you live. Just everybody have a good time. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>